your girl Lakeisha Marie. So today is a totally, totally different video. It's not a health video. It's not a fitness video. It has nothing to do with wellness. As you can see from the title, I am going to give my very first impressions of some products that I bought. Now, let me just say um, that Love Naturals did not pay me to do this. They did not send me free products. I bought these products with my own money. Kim Love did not ask me personally to do this video at all. I'm not even doing this video for Love Naturals. I am doing this video for my mom because she watches Kim Love's videos on YouTube. And I told her that I bought the products and I would give her, you know, my first impression of the product. So this is not even a product review. This is just me telling my mom uh, my first impression of these particular products. So... With that being said, let me go ahead and so get I bought started. these particular products from Love Naturals because I seen, I share the same philosophy with the owner, which is that pH balance is very important for maintaining your hair's moisture. So I was really excited to purchase these actual uh, products. Now, for almost the last year or so, I have been following the CG method, and if you don't know what that is, there are a ton of um, videos on YouTube where you can look it up. But if you do still have a question, just leave it in the comment section and I will answer it. But I've been following the CG method because uh, regular shampoos was really drying my hair out. And then after a while, I started using sulfate-free shampoos. And then those started drying my hair out really bad as well. And it got to the point that even though I would detangle outside of the shower, when I got, got in the shower to cleanse my hair, the shampoo would be so harsh on my hair that it would start to tangle up my curls. So I just started cleansing my hair with um, conditioner pretty much. And so I was a little skeptical about getting the cleanser, but because I know that she is hardcore by pH balance, I went ahead and purchased the products. And both of her, all her products are pH balance. And it does not say what the actual rating is on the actual products, but if I remember correctly, when I went to her website, the cleanser is balanced at a five. And um, the leave-in conditioner that I bought is balanced between a four and a four and a half. I my hair with the cleanser. And I detangled outside of the shower in several sections. Got in the hair, cleansed my hair with the with the cleanser. And I really loved how it felt on my hair. It did not strip my hair. It felt very, very moisturized. My curls were popping, which I kind of figured they would do because it is balanced at a five. And uh, my hair did not tangle up at all, which I was excited about that. And I did not buy the actual um, regular like deep conditioner so I just cleansed my hair um, in the different sections twisted it back up and got out of the shower and when I got out of the shower I took all my twists down which is something that I do not do because my hair will usually get tangled up when using you know regular shampoos and things of that nature but after I took all the twists out of my hair last night because I wanted to you know re-part it you know how I wanted to wear it for today for my twist out and I had no problems with tangles I had no problems with my curls popping or anything like that and my hair felt really really soft and moisturized so I was super excited about that and I also used the leave-in conditioner um, I parted my hair into the sections of how I wanted my twist out to actually lay and in each section I used the leave-in conditioner and um, I only use water and leave-in conditioner. Normally when I do my twist outs, I will use a little bit of um, conditioner and a little bit of Ego Salad Gel. But I did not do that this time because I just wanted to see how the products worked on its own. So I just, you know, section my hair, put some leave-in conditioner on it. I didn't use a lot because you don't need a lot. But I did make sure that every strand was covered with the leave-in conditioner. And I just simply twisted it up. And any parts that were starting to dry up, I just pressed it with my um, spray bottle. Just some nice cool water. Put the leave-in conditioner on and just retwisted it. And so that's all I did. And I put in twists all over my head. And I put my twist in a ponytail. I put my twist in the ponytail because when I let it air dry in the ponytail, it helps to stretch out my twist so I can have longer curls. And I left these two strands out. I always do, but you know, normally I'll just pin them back with bobby pins really, really lightly because the front of my hair has a very, very loose curl pattern. So I didn't want to like stretch it out and stretch out the curls even more because they're going to be elongated anyway. So. This is pretty much a real time video. I'm on my way out the door and I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead and um take my twist down, 
put my twist out now and we're gonna see the results together so I'm you know going for a very fluffy look um, if I wanted a more defined curl I would have used um, some gel but I did not want to do that I just wanted a really really fluffy look and um, my hair right now feels really really soft and it feels really really moisturized right now and this is later on in the day this morning I worked out I went bike riding for about four and a half miles I did some um, a little bit of a circuit here here in the house so you know I even sweated a little bit and my hair still feels really really good if you see me looking over here that's because I have something set up so I can actually see my hair and what I'm doing so I'm gonna go ahead and take my twist out and this is just coconut oil. I love using coconut oil on, on my hair. So I'm just going to put some coconut oil in my hands and just rub it through. Through all of my twists. And I keep oil on my hands while I'm taking out my twist because I don't want to cause any frizz at all whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking down the twist. And I'm starting from the bottom and working my way up. And my hair still feels a little bit damp. But that's okay. From the bottom. Almost got a little tangle there. I'm rushing, so that's why you gotta, when you have natural hair, you have to take your time and do it. And now I'm just going to separate just a little bit. Separate. Oof, my hair is still a little damp. I am loving it. My hair feels super, super, super soft. And it is fluffy just how I wanted it to, to be. Kind of like an afro, but with a little bit more definition. So that's it. Let me turn around so you can see. I don't know how it looks in the back, but like the way it came out. So yeah, my hair feels really, really nice, mom, and I really, really like it. So so yeah, that's it. So thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video with my mom. Hey mom. So yeah. So I like it. My hair feels really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and play with it some more to make sure all the parts and stuff is not showing. And I'll post pictures at the end. Bye guys. I'm loud when I talk, when I speak they listen, I